Hi ma'am, pwede mag-start ng 8 ter- ah, sorry, 8, 5:35. Ah, sige, pwede. Okay ra, sir. 5.35 na lang, sir. Mark. <laughs> so right now, we will be having your free uh, lecture for your leadership and management. So it's very timely and relevant kasi yung pag-uusapan natin about leaders and management because dadating yung at upcoming election natin on the 9th of May. So makakarali tayo dito kung sino yung bobotohe natin. No? But before that, may I... Uh, No, kung saan tayo galing? Saan tayo uh, from the Philippines pa tayo? Shout out tayo kung saan tayo ngayon. Meron ba tayong dito from the Philippines or from Middle East? Ako, I'm from Roja City, Capiz. So, afternoon dito sa amin. Meron ba akong students from Roja City din? Or meron tayong students abroad? Sige, hentay natin yung mga reply ng mga students natin. Sige, saan tayo galing? Okay, but before that, I would like to congratulate first our passers. No? Meron tayong passers for the last um, three cycles here on your IPAS Academy uh, Middle East Online Review. Namely, si Sir Raymond, Sir Arnel, Ma'am Mary Joy, Miss Sheena, Camille, Christine, um, Abraham, Agaya Faye, Jamil, Sir Jeremiah, Ma'am Agatha, Miss Audrey, Miss Rose Ann, Miss Fatima, uh, sino pa to? Miss Ro- uh, Rona May, Rachel, and uh, many more. So yan po yung ating mga passers for the last three cycles we had here on your IPAS online review. So congratulations. I know na nasa cloud nine kayong lahat na nakapasa tayo. So congratulations. Sige. Um, I would like to inform as well everyone that uh, the cycle, the next cycle that we will be having will be on the 4th of May. That would be next week, Wednesday. So meron po tayong promo ngayon. Meron tayong uh, discount for sa mag uh, enroll this April 25 to April 28. Okay, so ang enrollment fee po natin is just only 5,000 pesos instead of 6,400. And then the remaining balance will be payable after a month. That would be 6,400. The package would be six months online review. Yan, tatlong cycle po yan. So ibig sabihin kapag hindi po tayo naka-attend ng uh, lecture ngayon, pwede po nating ma- Uh, mabalikan. Okay? Pwede po nating mapanood ito sa replay because yung kinaibahan po ng IPAS Online Academy is that we have recorded videos. At the same time, we also have your online success uh, success coach. So, kapag tayo po ay kinakabahan, meron tayong problema or stress tayo or anxious tayo sa ating upcoming examinations, then Sir Justin, siya po yung ating success, success coach, siya po yung responsible nun para ma-alleviate natin yung anxiety nating na nararamdaman. Okay? So, the discussion or the the uh, what do we call this? The discussion or the, the orientation will start on the 4th of May. That would be next week. Yeah? Wednesday. And then until the 29th of June. So, yan yung cycle natin. Okay? Sige. Uh, without further ado, let's continue now with our leadership and management. share to you my screen now. Okay, leadership, management, and research. Yan yung itutu- uh, i-discuss natin ngayong araw na ito. Okay, leadership and management. Ano yung pagkakaiba ng ibig ng word na leadership and management? It's very common kapag tayo dito ay naging leader or tayo ay hinalal bilang isang presidente. Tatawagin tayo isang leader. Or kahit anong posisyon na mas mataas sa atin, we are called leader and management. Sige, isa-isahin natin. Leadership and management. Discuss natin. Define muna natin yung leadership. Leadership is an act of influencing and motivating a group of people to act in the same direction towards achieving a common goal. Ano yung mga keywords natin dito? Yung keywords natin dito is influencing, and motivating. Ibig sabihin, kinoculture tayo dito. We are nourished here na, ah, okay, kailangan dito maging uh, productive ako because I was influenced by the leader, by the true leader. Ano 
naman sir yung management. Yung management po is the process of leading and directing an organization to meet its goals through the use of appropriate resources. Ibig sabihin po, yung management natin, meron po silang sinusunod. Okay? Leading and directing an organization. May pinafollow po silang rules and regulations. Now, tatanungin ko kayo nurses, ano yung mas gusto ninyo? Uh, gusto nyo ba ng isang leader or gusto ninyo ng isang manager? Ano yung gusto natin? Hello there. Ngayon ko lang nakita yung mga messages ninyo from KSA. Hello there. Okay, now, tatanungin ko kayo, ano yung mas gusto natin? A leader or a manager? Ano yung gusto ng mga students natin? Leader ba? Or manager ba? Ako, if tatanungin nyo ako, mas gusto ko yung isang leader. Kasi if babalikan natin yung definition ng leader, the act of influencing and motivating. Ibig sabihin po nito, yung leader ay kasama niya yung kanyang mga subordinates na, ah, okay, kaya natin to, okay? Kahit mahirap, kaya natin itong ipasa. Kahit mahirap, kaya natin itong malagpasan. Pero yung manager, siya lang yung nag-uutos, okay? Siya yung uh, gumagawa ng way para maging successful yung ating presentation, successful yung business natin, siya lang yung nagmamando or siya lang yung nagdadirect. That's the term. Nagdadirect siya kung ano yung tamang gawin. So, kung papapiliin ko kayo, leader or manager, ayan, nagsas uh, nakikita ko na yung mga responses natin. Medyo delay lang tayo, no? Okay, pero I can see here most of you most of you answered leader. Yes. Tama po yan. Mas gusto natin yung leader. So yes, upcoming election, pipiliin po natin yung leader, ha? Disclaimer lang, I'm not promoting any, okay? Any uh, president or any um, politicians here, but I'm just only stating facts na yung pipiliin natin must be a leader, not a manager. Okay? Para alam natin kung ano yung maganda ba. Leader ba? Or isang taong nagtatirek lang. Okay, kailangan dito yung isang leader merong influence, no? At saka ma-motivate tayong lahat para ika uh, ikaunlad ng ating bansang Pilipinas. All right, sige, proceed tayo. Now, differentiate natin detailed one yung leadership versus management. Leadership do not have delegated authority but obtain the power through other means such as influence. Again, yung keywords natin dito is influence. You are able to convey your answers properly na parang napapa, uh, napapasunod mo yung gusto mo dahil maganda yung mga sinasabi mo. You are eloquent. You have, yung parang meron kang words of wisdom na ay, parang nakihiya ako. Sige, sundin ko na lang. So, na-influence ako. Yan ang true leader. While the management, the management or the manager is legitimate source of power due to delegated authority. Yan yung sabi ko sa inyo. Mas mataas yung position Niya. Like for example, common dito, like for example, you're working in a call center agent, uh, call center um, company. Meron silang team leader, meron silang operations. Same thing applies sa hospital. Sinusunod natin yung mga supervisors natin, yung ating mga uh, chief of nursing. no. So meron silang authority para tayo ay what? Mag-follow sa kanilang gusto. Pero again, yung gusto natin, kahit manager siya, pero meron pa din siyang leadership style. He or she can influence us to have a better outcome, no? Quality yung ma-produce natin. Next one, on the leadership, focus on group process, information gathering, feedback, and empowering others. Dito, yung type of leadership is lang somewhat democratic. Parang open siya for opinions, suggestions, kasi siya ay what? Yung puso niya nandun sa kanyang subordinates. Yung puso niya, ah, okay, kailangan ko itong sundin kasi uh, mas maganda ito. Mas maganda yung kanyang suggestions. So, mas maganda ito para sa company. Yan yung leadership natin. We are all welcome for feedback, uh, information gathering, criticism, open tayo sa lahat. You are open to suggest here. Sa manager naman, emphasize control, decision-making, decision analysis, and results. Nakabase talaga siya doon sa auditing. Okay? Ibig sabihin, nagkakaroon tayo ng assessment, nagkakaroon tayo ng auditing. So, kung ano yung nakita natin sa result, yun yung susundin ng management. Like for, example, like, for example, on your quality assurance, nakita ninyo doon na, ay, hindi fully satisfied yung mga students natin. Hindi fully satisfied yung mga uh, pasyente natin. So as a manager, you need to modify 
something para yung uh, sa, yung outcome or let me say the the result would also increase magiging satisfied yung ating mga students at yung ating mga kliyente next one on your leadership have goals that may or may not reflect those of the organization ibig sabihin po yung goal niya is uh yung for example meron tayong goal yung mission and vision ng company sinusunod natin iyan pero pwede tayong sumunod or pwede tayong hindi as long as tama pa din yung ginagawa ng isang leader. Kasi yung importante sa leader are the subordinates, yung mga kasamahan niya. He, don't, he or she don't care kung ano yung sasabihin ng ibang tao sa kanya, especially yung mas mataas sa kanya, as long as nagagawa niya din ng tama. Okay? While the manager, the manager, greater formal responsibility and accountability for rationality and control than leaders. Ibig sabihin, nakas... Uh, naka-lean on sa doon sa ating mga managers. Mas mataas sa kanya. So, para hindi siya pagalitan or para maganda yung result ng kanyang satisfaction, so, kailangan niya sundin kung ano yung ginagawa or anong sabi sa kanya ng kanyang seniors or kanyang manager. Okay? To fully understand, remember this saying, management is efficiency in climbing the ladder of success. Leadership determines whether the ladder is leaning against the right wall. And simplest term ito, ka, sa manager, management, kahit nahihirapan na tayo as long as maraming profit yung hospital, no? maraming profit, maraming kita, okay, kahit nahihirapan na yung mga nurses nila, sige, push lang tayo ng push kasi yung goal nila is only success. While leader, determines whether the ladder is leaning against the right wall. Ibig sabihin, they care about their subordinates. They look after yung mga empleyado nila. Tama ba to? Burn out na ba? Rapid ba ang kanilang, um, uh, what do we call this nga, ang kanilang exchange of work? Maganda ba? Okay, kaya pa ba? Okay, that's a good leader. There will be assessment kung ano dapat yung gawin natin. Naintindihan ba yung ating management and leadership? Ayan, medyo late tayo dito no, sa ating live, pero okay lang. Kasi uh, kahit hindi hard or light nga, okay, kapag naintindihan natin yung leadership and management, sige, entahin ko yung mga like and hearts natin. Ayun. Alright, very good. Ayan, sige. Proceed tayo. Now, Remember this, we have your scientific management. Kailangan may theory tayo. Yung mga theories natin, i-discuss natin further on your intensive review here on your iPad. So I encourage everyone, no? Uh, it may be on NCLEX, it may be on Middle East to attend or to enroll here on iPad. Kasi i-discuss natin ito into detail or further sa ating online intensive review. Okay? There are four overriding principles of scientific management. The first one is rule of thumb. Means organizing work must be replaced with scientific methods. Yung i-discuss pa natin ngayon ay scientific methods. Yung planning, organizing, directing, controlling, nyo, yung PADC natin, yan po ay part ng ating scientific methods. Kailangan may sinusunod tayo. Yung mga vision-mission, lahat yan pasok sa scientific methods. Alright? Second one, scientific personnel must be established so that workers can be hired, trained, promoted based on their technical competence and abilities. That's why, if you would notice, if tayo ay mag a apply sa hospital or any companies, there will be HR office. Yung HR, sinasala yan or parang filter yan. Ay, pasok ito ah. Parang hindi ito pasok sa qualifications natin. Kaya ba ito yung mga job description natin? Okay? Yan po yung purpose ng ating HR. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pwede na mag-hire lang tayo ng mga hire. Like, for example, I am a nurse by profession. Nurse ako and then gusto ko mag-apply sa laboratory. Feeling nyo ba magagawa ko ba yung mga job description ng isang medtech? Hindi. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan ito based sa technical competencies and abilities ng ating uh, applicante. That's why kailangan ito ng scientific method which i-discuss natin further on your evaluation. 
All right. Next one, workers. Workers should be able to view how they fit into the organization and how they can contribute to overall organizational productivity. You as an employee, I myself as an employee here at IPAS, my main purpose here is to conduct lectures, to conduct or to help our aspiring nurses achieve their dreams, their American dreams, okay? Their, their Middle East dreams, no? Yan yung purpose ko. Now, tanongin mo yung sarili mo. Why is it that you are employed in a certain hospital or in a certain company na yung purpose mo lang is para kumita? Okay? Para magkaroon ng compensation. Okay? Hindi yan maganda. Kailangan ikaw din ay what? Meron kang productivity na maibibigay sa company which is very important. All right, the next one. The lastly, the relationship between managers and workers should be cooperative and interdependent. The work should be shared equally. Yes, I can attest to that. Okay, I have worked before where in um, I'm a junior, but I don't have any voice before, no? Because I'm just only, to be honest with you, I'm just only 23 years old. So masyado pa si Sir Bata. So yung feeling may mga kasamahan ko noon, wala, hindi kaya ni Sir gawin ito. So parang di na down tayo. Remember this, if you are working the same lang naman, yung job description ninyo, you are all equal. I know some of you here makaka-relate nito kasi yung mga student, yung mga nurses natin, merong seniority sa hospital, di ba? Relate na relate tayo dito. Pero remember this, kapag kayo ay pantay-pantay lang, walang senior, walang junior, dahil kailangan magtulungan and there is an interdependent relationship. Kailangan nyo mag-usap, okay? Kasi hindi maganda yung work natin, yung ating uh, pagsasama sa isang station kapag hindi maganda yung relationship niyo with each other. Alright? So, these are the four scientific management. Now, let's proceed here on your um, management functions. Remember the word nurses, pod C. Okay? Pod C. Yung staffing dyan, okay, pwede yun ilagay yan, PDSDC. Pero yung palatandaan ko dito, pod C. The first one, planning. And making or creating or building an organization, you must have a plan. Ano yung purpose mo? Ano yung vision? Ano yung mission? Ano yung objective mo? Ano yung purpose ng company? Bakit nagpatayo ka? Planning. Next one, organization. You must have what? Your hierarchy. Sino-sino yung mga manpower mo dito? Okay, kailangan mo malaman dito. Sino ba dito yung aking secretary? Sino ba dito yung president? Sino dito yung in charge sa business sector? Sino yung in charge dito sa ancillary services? So, nursing station, kailangan yung i-organize yan. Next one, staffing. Of course, kailangan dito may right People. Hindi pwede na yung nurse-patient ratio natin is 1, into 20. 1 is to 20. Hindi yan pwede. Like for us in the operating room, because I work in the OR before, uh, yung aming patient ratio, yung staffing namin is 1 is to 1. Okay? Sometimes 2 is to 1. Dalawang nurse, yung scrub at saka circulating into one patient. Kaya I encourage everyone na mag-OR na, no? Just kidding, no? But yes, kailangan appropriate yung staffing natin. Like for example, if nasa hospital tayo, okay, common nito hindi ko linalakat, ha? Pero common ito sa mga hospitals natin na yung staffing is 1 is to 15. You are not efficient anymore. Hindi na yan maganda. Because at Ayung uh, grease natin all of your uh, medication area, error, yung mga negligence natin are there is very high. That's why every company must look after their employees, yung mga nurses nila, the staffing. Alright? Next one, directing. Yes, kailangan natin ay direct yung mga tao dito. Diyan papasok yung staffing natin. Pod C. Next one is your controlling. On your controlling, this includes your evaluation, yung mga quality assurance, yung mga ating, uh, ano pa ba? Yung mga benchmarking, jaan na yan papasok. Kamusta yung ginawa natin? Goal achieved ba or goal met ba? Kapag hindi na meet, na meet natin yung ating goal, that's the time we need to modify or we need to uh, change something doon sa planning stage. So as you can see here on the photo, babalik yan sa planning. So planning, organizing, staffing, directing, controlling. Sa so controlling, that's the evaluation part. You need to ask yourself, goal met ba? 
goal partially met ba? Meron ba akong dapat i-modify? Yung patient satisfaction ba maganda? Okay? Mataas ba yung uh, profit ko or deficit pa ako? So kapag deficit ka, balik ka ulit sa planning. These are the management functions na kailangan ng isang organization. All right, proceed tayo. Now, any questions so far, nurses? Doon sa pad C natin? None? All right, sige, proceed tayo. Ay, sorry. Ano yung mga activities ng management natin? On your planning, of course, papasok dyan yung philosophy, goals, objective, policies, procedures, and rules. Carry out long and short projections, determining a fiscal course of action, and managing plan of change. Planning. Kasi katap, pagkatapos natin ng controlling, kailangan natin magbago. Kailangan may baguhin tayo. That's your planning. Remember this, nurses, sa i-discuss natin ito further on your intensive review. So I encourage everyone to please enroll here on your IPAS para meron tayong detailed na learning here on your management and leadership. Next one, organizing. Structure to carry out plans, okay? Determining the most appropriate type of patient care delivery, grouping activities, and of course, to meet your unit goals. On your staffing, dyan papasok yung recruitment, interviewing, hiring, orientation, scheduling, staff development, employee socialization, and team building. Ito yung palatandaan natin. Ha? Pakitake down notes sa mga notebooks natin na kapag sinabi ko pong staffing, papasok dyan mga tao. Sino yung sinastaffing natin? Tao. So kapag nakakita po kayo sa isang nursing question na involve yung nurse dito, staffing yan. Alright? Next one, directing. Directing dito includes your motivating, management conflict, Okay, delegating, communicating, and facilitating collaboration. Here, kasama dito din yung mga nurses natin, pero papasok dito yung different types of communication. Okay, lastly will be your controlling. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, this is the time where it, we evaluate, we appraise, we uh, we assess kamusta ba, goal met ba, or hindi. Okay, controlling functions include performance appraisal, fiscal accountability, quality control, legal and ethical ethical control, and professional and collegial control. Okay, dyan papasok yung ating controlling. Okay, any questions so far, nurses? Ayan. Any question? Then so far? Heart nga or like nga? Wala malaman natin. Ayun. Okay. Sige. Proceed tayo. Pero me parang medyo delay tayo. No? Pero okay lang yan. Ayan. Sige. Now, let's discuss, uh, let's uh, move forward on your 14 principles of management. Kailangan ito, nandito ito sa loob ng isang organization. First one, division of work allow specialization. Like for example, you have a hospital. Meron nagpatayo ka ng isang hospital. Kailangan meron tayong division of work. Hindi yan kaya ng isang tao. Remember this, hindi mo kaya yan lahat. Kailangan dito meron tayong delegation. Okay? E de delegate natin yung task kanino sa tao, sa appropriate personnel. Like for example, um, yung isang tao, nagpatayo ka ng isang hospital, and then yung isang tao, ay, uh, nagsimula siya, okay? Or fresh graduate siya. Okay? Kapag fresh graduate siya, pwede siya mag-training, pwede siya mag-start muna sa staff nurse. Okay? Now, and then afterwards, uh, meron kang, uh, meron nag-apply uh, sa'yo, sa HR. Okay, may nag-apply sa iyo na isang pharmacist. Okay? So yung specialized niya is tungkol sa mga medication. Siya ay papasok mo saan? Sa pharmacy. Okay? Like for example, another one, may nag-apply sa inyo, may nag-apply na medtech. Hindi mo yan pwede ipapasok doon sa OR kasi hindi yan marunong. So division of work ipapasok natin yan sa appropriate division or what we call this department. Next one, authority. Authority is right to command, balance with responsibility and accountability. Nurses, what is the difference between responsibility and accountability? Ano yung pagkakaiba natin dito? Remember this, nurses, ha? when we say responsibility, you are just only transferring the task to that certain individual. But accountability, both of you are accountable. Like, for example, if you are working in the Middle East, there will be a nursing aid. Okay? Nursing, uh, what do we call this? Kung sa US ka, it is called as your UAP. 
Pero kapag dito ka sa Pilipinas, it is called as your nursing assistant or let me say na nursing aide. Yan. Like for example, I am the nurse in charge. Yung responsibility ko na mag vital signs ay i-transfer ko sa aking nursing aide. That's responsibility, transferring of tasks. But when we say accountability, transfer ko yung task na yon sa nursing aide kung ano yung mangyari sa pasyente na mali yung pagkakuha niya ng vital signs, both of us are accountable. Remember, responsibility can be transferred but accountability cannot. Ibig sabihin po, yung responsibility or yung task lang yung pwede nating matransfer sa pasyente pero pareho tayo. Okay, ikaw yung nursing aid, ako yung, ako yung nurse dito, pareho tayong may pananagutan sa batas. Okay, both of us are accountable. Next one, discipline. Employees will only obey orders if management play their part by providing good leadership. Binalik, balikan natin yung kanina. Sabi ko sa inyo, yung gusto niyo, manager, management, manager or leader. Yung sabi niyo, based here on sa chat box natin, leader. Yes, kasi kapag tayo po ay isang good leader, no, meron tayong power of influence, yung mga uh, yung mga subordinates natin, nagpa-follow, nagpa-follow yan sa atin. So they have their discipline. Okay, next one, unity of command. There should only be one boss with no conflicting lines of command. So sa amin, uh, sa amin sa nursing stage, sa amin sa, nurse, sa nurses, yung ating line of command is our chief nurse. So ibig sabihin, kung magagalit doon, okay, kung magagalit doon yung head ng medtech, wala tayong pakialam, okay, hindi tayo takot. Kasi we have your unity of command na yung boss talaga natin are just only the chief nurse. Kung ano yung gusto ng chief nurse natin, ano yung gusto ng supervisor natin, sundin natin yon. Hindi natin susundin kung ano yung gusto ng medtech kasi remember, iba yung department nila. Our boss here is only one. Okay, yan yung ating mga supervisor. Next one, unity of direction. People engaged in the same kind of activities must have the same objective in a single plan. Yes, like for example, yung, mission, uh, yung vision ninyo or yung mission ninyo or yung objective ng company ninyo is what? For example, empowered communities, building future. Hindi ka taga makakalimutan yan kasi yan yung uh, mission ng school namin before. Empowered communities and uh, building future. Ibig sabihin, kailangan dito mag-empower ng community. Kailangan namin mag-heal ng sick. Kailangan namin tumulong. At saka building future kasi yung school namin at saka ng hospital, isa lang yung, uh, isa lang yung uh, company namin, isa lang yung organization namin. So, that that time, okay, we have the sense of purpose na ay, okay, nag-build kami ng future sa mga students natin and of course, we help our we help our sick. Okay, we help the sick. So that's the purpose or that's the goal of our organization. Unity of direction. Next one, subordination of individual interests to general interest. The goals of the firm are always paramount. Yes, kailangan pang kahalatan. So ibig sabihin kung ito yung, uh, ito yung gusto natin ma-achieve, kailangan iyan. Okay? Next one, remuneration. Payment is an important motivator. Ah, sige, tatanungin ko yung mga students natin dito. Question, bakit tayo gustong mag-ibang bansa? Let's, let's, let's be honest here. Bakit tayo gusto mag-ibang bansa? Gusto ko malaman. Okay? Sige. Bakit tayo gusto mag-ibang bansa? Ano yung goal natin? Better future. Yan. Tama yan. Ano yung iba? Ano yung sagot ng iba? Future. Yes. Future. Yes. Tama. Future natin kapag nasa ibang bansa tayo ay, ay bright. No? Mas maganda yung future natin dito, doon. Ano yung sagot ng iba? Meron tayong what? Yung iba, sabi nila, money. Yes. Kasi hindi tayo aalis sa isang company if we are paid good. Ibig sabihin, kung maganda yung bigayan dito, bakit pa tayo aalis? Because to be honest with you, isang factor ng isang can, uh, candidate or ng applicant is the, the salary. So kapag yung salary package niya or ang kanyang sweldo ay hindi ganun kataas, of course, yung, uh, yung candidate na yon or yung, applicant, yung applicante or let's me say the employee would resign. Kasi naghahanap din sila ng magandang pay. Kaya kailangan, kapag tayo ay nag-establish ng isang organization, 
kailangan i-consider natin yung payment because ay uh, yung ati yung salary nila because payment is an important motivator. Okay? Next one, centralization or decentralization depends on the condition of the business and the quality of its personnel. Yes, kailangan dito malaman natin isa lang ba yung magde-decide or kailangan may opinion yung lahat. Nakadepende yan on the situation na magpurposist. Okay, next one. Scholar chain or line of authority refers to the number of levels in the hierarchy. Yan. Kailangan natin malaman, hindi pwede na kapag meron akong problema, kailangan magsabi ako agad sa director ng nursing or sa medical doctor natin, hindi yan pwede. Kailangan malaman natin yung line of authority kasi kanino ako magko-complain? Sa head nurse ba? Okay, sa senior nurse ko ba? Sa supervisor ba? Or directly doon sa chief nurse natin? Kailangan natin yang malaman. Next one, the order. Both material order minimizes lost time and useless handling of materials and social order, organization and selection are necessary. Yes, because kahit ano yung mangyari, na, mangyari sa organization, there will be conflict. So kapag meron tayong ginagawa na way, okay, meron tayong, um, what we call this, meron tayong, protocol or order kung ano dapat gawin natin parang malinis okay malinis siya at the same time alam natin kung ano yung gagawin natin if there will be cases na hindi natin alam so kailangan meron tayong what handbook meron tayong order meron tayong protocol okay next one is equity employees should be treated well to achieve equity remember this equality and equity is somewhat the same okay pero may pagkakaiba sila yung equality, lahat kayo bibigyan pantay-pantay kung ano yung compensation niya. Pero pag sinabi po natin equity, nakadepende po yun kung ano yung pangangailangan mo. Like for example, I am working as an educator. So kailangan ko ng resources, kailangan ko ng libro. So ibibigay yun sa akin kasi part yun ng aking job description. Pero kapag ikaw naman ay isang, uh, like for example, on the IT part, oh, so bibigyan ka nila ng appropriate materials or resources for you naman. So kailangan dito may equity. We are treated equal. Nakadepende kung ano yung pangangailangan natin. Okay? Next one, stability of tenure of personal. Job security and caress, uh, career progress are important for employees to work better. Yes, kapag ako yung magiging HR, yun, yun yung unang tatanungin ko or yun yung una kong uh, gustong makita sa aplikante ko or sa candidate ko. Remember this ha, if you would apply in a company para makapasok tayo sa gusto nating company, sabihin mo you are looking forward to working in the company for five and six years because nakikita mo yung company, there is a career progression. Nakikita mo na, ay, okay, mabilis dito ma-promote, no? mabilis dito tumaas yung career level ko, yung parang ganun. So, sa part na yun, plus points ka na sa HR. So, yan. Yeah, in terms of your uh, tenure, uh, stability of tenure of personal, yes, isa din factor yan. So, kapag yung um, employee feel that they are stagnant already, they feel na hindi na sila na-promote, uh, na walang increase yung salary nila, parang routine na lang yung ginagawa nila, sometimes they decided to resign. So, maganda din yung ating career promotion. Okay? Next one is your initiative. Initiative allow personal to show their initiative. It may be a source of strength of the organization yan. Kailangan din yung mga employees natin tabibo dito, no? Kailangan dito maging sipsip, okay? Kailangan may initiative sila kung ano yung kailangan gawin natin. And of course, is pretty core is the management should foster the moral of the employees. Kailangan dito meron tayong um, magandang pagsasama Okay, ibig sabihin noon kailangan natin maging united, ya, yeah, mga unity. <laughs> kailangan natin maging united sa company and of course kailangan yung common goal natin is to make uh, the station, the organization productive and of course gagawa tayo ng quality na product. Okay? So these are the 14 principles of your management. Okay? Any questions so far? None. Okay, sige. Proceed tayo on your leadership styles. Okay. I want everyone to listen carefully kasi baka ito ang reason baka magbago yung mga boto ninyo sa upcoming election. Okay. Sige. Isa-isahin natin. Remember, nurses, we have three types of leadership. Nurses, we have three types of leadership. Democratic, authoritarian, and lazy pa. Okay. Again, democratic, 
authoritarian and lazy pa. Sige, isa-isahin natin. Democratic exhibits the following behavior. Okay, this one. First one, less control is maintained. Okay? Economic and ego awards are used to motivate. Third one, others are directed through suggestions and guidance. Paki-highlight sa mga notes natin, they are open for suggestions. Democratic. Next one, communication flows up and down. Ibig sabihin, pwede akong magbigay ng opinion kung anong gusto kong ibigay sa company. Decision making involves others. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang ako yung nag-decide dito. Meron tayong voting system. Okay? So kapag pantay, for example, 10-10, ako yung last na mag-decide kasi ako yung CEO dito. Okay? Meron tayong what? Voting system. Emphasis is on we rather than I and you. Ibig sabihin, yung importante dito, yung lahat. Hindi, wala siyang pakialam sa sarili niya. Yung importante dito, tayong lahat na mag-benefit sa company. Tayo yung mag-benefit sa buong Pilipinas. Okay? And criticism is constructive. Ibig sabihin, kapag hindi maganda yung opinion mo, okay lang. Tanggapin mo kasi constructive criticism ito. Remember, yung leadership dito, na tanongin ko sa inyo, meron ba kayong idea kung sinong leader ito, yung democratic na open sa suggestion? Okay, communication flows up and down. Ibig sabihin, nag, uh, nag-re-receive siya ng opinion from other individuals. And emphasis on we. Ibig sabihin, tayong lahat accepted. Ibig sabihin, tayong lahat ay what? Open na magbigay ng sarili nating a stand. We. Remember the word? Paki-highlight natin dito, nurses, ha? Pakilagay sa mga notes natin. Open for suggestions. Communication flows up and down. We. Ayan na lang. Para magbali natin ma-memorize yan. Okay? That's your democratic leader. Okay? Meron ba kayong idea kung sino itong leader natin sa ating um, presidential candidates? I'm not endorsing, again, disclaimer lang ha, I'm not endorsing any politicians here. I'm just stating facts about the leadership styles. Okay? Sige, proceed tayo on your authoritarian leader. The next one is your authoritarian leader. Meron naghaha, no? Sige. Disclaimer lang, baka ipa, ipa-stop yung live lectures natin dito. <laughs> Sige. Next one is your leadership. Ah, sorry. Your authoritarian leader. Strong control is maintained over the work group. Again, strong control is not maintained over the work group. Dito, less control sa democratic, sa ating authoritarian, firm yung kanyang decision. Okay? Firm ang kanyang decision. Others are motivated by coercion. Isang disadvantage ng authoritarian leader is that takot siya, kaya susundin niya na lang. Okay? Takot siya, kaya susundin niya na lang. Okay? May nakikita ba kayong leader dito? Wala. <laughs> okay, next one. Others are directed with commands. Ibig sabihin, yung taong ito, yung leader na ito, siya yung nagko-command na gawin mo to, gawin mo to, gawin mo to. Okay? Yan yung authoritarian nat- leader natin. While democratic, lahat tayo ay gumagawa. Yung ating authoritarian leader, isa lang. Ako lang yung nag Ako lang yung nagko-control sa inyo na ito yung gagawin ninyo. Next one. Communication here flows down Ward. I am not open for any suggestions. I am not open for your opinion. Okay? Decision-making does not involve others. Ibig sabihin, kung doon kanina sa democratic, remember, Philippines is a democratic country. So, balikan natin yung democratic natin dito. Kaya natin magbigay ng ano? Ng what? Ng opinions. ba? Diba? We have freedom of speech. Yan yung Pilipinas. Pero dito, sa authoritarian leader, um, hindi siya nagre-receive ng any suggestion from other individuals, kundi siya lang yung nag-decide. Next one, emphasis is on difference in status, I and you. Kung kanina, pina-underline ko sa inyo yung word na we, dito naman, I and you. Ibig sabihin, ako. Ako yung masusunod dito. Okay? Ako lang. And criticism is punitive. Ibig sabihin, dito, constructive lang. Dito, yung criticism, meron siyang punishment. Okay, clear tayo dito. Now, ano sir yung kinagandahan ng authoritarian leader versus democratic leader? Yung ikinaganda ng authoritarian leader is that during emergency cases, remember this nurses ha, during emergency nurses, yung authoritarian leader 
kaya niya mag-decide on his own. Remember, ina-underline underline ko ha, strong control is maintained and decision-making does not involve others. Ibig sabihin, kapag ano yung mangyari dito, siya yung mag decide I'll give you an example, no? If you're working in a hospital and you are the staff nurse, tatlo kayong staff nurse. Sa tatlo kayong staff nurse, yung democratic style of leadership is ganito. Sir, sir, uh, for example, ano yung gagawin natin? Kunin mo, to, kunin mo yun ako, uh, kunin mo yung isa. And then, sige, ay, hindi na, hindi na, ako na lang yung kukuha, ikaw na lang dun. Ay, hindi na, ikaw na lang yung kukuha dun. Ako na lang yung mag, uh, mag-CPR dito. Okay, sabihin ng isa, ay, hindi, mag medication pa ako. Okay, that's democratic. Open sa lahat ng suggestion. Yan yung democratic natin. Pag sinabi ko pong, kasi yun ay open for suggestions, di ba? Yung ating authoritarian leader is decision-making does not involve others. Ako lang. For example, ako yung staff nurse, tatlo kami, ako yung staff nurse, sinabi ko, nagko-code blue na. Nagko-code blue yung pasyente. Sabihin ko, ikaw, kunin mo doon yung e, uh, kunin mo doon yung e-card, ikaw, tawagin mo si Doc, ako yung bahala sa pasyente dito. Ako yung magsi-CPR dito, gawin natin. Question, maganda ba yung leadership na ito? Yes, mag- para sa akin, ha? maganda yung leadership na ito kasi kailangan may command. Kailangan may isang taong nagko-command para hindi chaos, hindi chaotic yung ating what? Yung ating organization. Same thing applies kapag tayo ay what? Nagse-select ng isang leader. Kapag tayo ay nag-select ng leader, kailangan dito meron siyang democratic style and authoritarian style. Hindi pwede democratic lang, hindi pwede authoritarian lang, kailangan combination of the three. Auto, uh, democratic, authoritarian, and lastly, anong isa? Lazy fa. Yung lazy fa natin, ano ito? Permissive with little or no control. Yan, yung parang passive lang. Yung parang sige, okay, push lang tayo ng push. Sige, rock and roll. Yan. Yung parang chill-chill lang. Okay? Yan yung lazy fa natin. Motivate by support when requested by the group. Yan. May mga leader tayo. Sige, Go on na kayo. Wala akong pakialam sa inyo. Bahala kayo dyan. Tawagin nyo lang ako kung ano yung kailangan ninyo. Again, requested by the group. Okay? Next one. Provides letter, a little or no direction. Ito yung mga leader na... <laughs> ito yung mga... Di ba? Naghaha kayo kasi relate na relate kayo dyan. Tan- lahat, no? Ito yung lazy fire. Ito yung, yung parang walang... Ano ba yan, sir? Walang sinasabi sa atin. Ano yung gagawin natin dito? Di ba? May mga leader na ganun. Yung parang, for example, paano natin gawin to? Eh, hindi naman nagbigay ng instruction. Yan yung mga leadership style. Next one, uses upward and downward communication between members. Same thing applies with your democratic. And of course, it disperses decision-making throughout the group. So, ibig sabihin, disperse. Okay, kayo yung bahala dyan. Kayo yung mag-decide. Naging leader ako, pero kayo yung bahalang mag-decide dyan. Support na ako sa inyo. Rock and roll lang tayo, no? Yan yun yung leadership style niya. And of course, place emphasis on the group. Ibig sabihin, yung group yung bahala. And does not criticize. Okay lang, passive lang ako dito. Leader nyo ako, pero sige, kung ano yung resulta ng ating paggawa ng grupo natin, wala ako, hindi ako magagalit, hindi ako, wala akong gagawin kasi okay lang tayo. Chill, chill lang. Parang ganon. Remember this nurses, ha? Now, question ko sa inyo, nurses. Sige, tatangin ko sa inyo. Among the three types of leadership, ano yung gusto nyo sa presidente natin? Sige, gusto ko malaman. Ano yung gustong uh, leadership yung hinahanap natin sa isang president? Sige, gusto ko malaman, nurses. Pwede bang malaman yung pulso ng ating mga nurses? Ano yung gusto natin, nurses? Kanina may naghaha. Okay, wala. Good credentials. Okay, tama din yan. Yung good credentials natin. Sige, ano yung iba, sagot ng iba? Good performance? Yes, very good. Kasi kailangan sa isang leader, Maganda yung kanyang credentials, yung kanyang track record, at saka maganda yung kanyang performance. Ayan, meron tayong autorita- uh, auto- autocratic, meron tayong authoritarian, yes, tama yan. Democratic and auto- uh, autocratic, yes, tama yan. Meron tayo ditong economist, yan. Money, no? Very good. Ano pa yung sagot ng iba? We need an autocratic leader this time. 
Okay? Sige, ano yung sagot ng iba? Parang nakikita ko yung sagot ng iba. Parang masyadong lahat authoritarian, no? Autocratic type of leadership. Sige. Again, remember this nurse has a disclaimer lang. I'm not promoting any politicians here. I'm just asking. Nagsusurvey lang. E yung iba, authoritarian, democratic, democratic, autocratic. Remember this nurse has a, a good leader must have this three leadership style. Hindi pwedeng autocratic lang, hindi pwedeng democratic lang. Kasi kapag democratic lang, paano kapag emergency case, hindi siya marunong mag-decide. Kung autocratic lang din, wala siyang democratic style, maghihirapan din tayo because mawawala yung freedom of speech natin. Hindi naman mawawala agad, no? But parang there will be limitations on the informations. Kapag... Yung ito, yung, uh, let me see, yung lazy fa, ay, wag kayo ganito, ha? Kailangan natin ng leader yung parang, um, what, we say, what we call this, ng parang active. Ayaw natin ng passive, no? Pangit ang, na, ang sobrang demokrasya. Nasobrahan na tayo sa demokrasya. Uh, at some point, depende tayo sa opinions, no? Pero again, clarify natin, kailangan yung tatlong leadership style nandito ito sa isang leader. Okay? Like for example, on your lazy fair, uh, ito yung mga passive, ha? like for example, meron kayo sa nursing station. Sa nursing station, uh, like gusto nyo mag-gala. Sorry, gusto nyo mag-excursion. Now, ikaw yung supervisor, so syempre, bibigyan mo naman yung mga subordinates o mga staff nurse ng, ng, ng time to decide on their own. O sige, kayo na bahala, kayo na mag-decide sa grupo kung saan tayo pupunta. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kailangan may combination of three leadership style. Okay? Sige. Ayan, parang nakikita ako na talaga yung ating what? Yung ating pulso ng ating mga nurses. If tatanungin nyo ako ngayon, yung isasagot ko dyan, I'm more on the autocratic style. <laughs> But kailangan natin yung tatlo, ha? Remember, nurses, kailangan natin tatlong leadership style. Okay? Sige, proceed tayo. Now, proceed tayo on your power. Your power is very important kasi sa power, dito natin malalaman kung gaano siya ka-productive sa isang organization. Power is defined as the capacity to act or the strength and potency to accomplish something. The manager who is knowledgeable about the wise use of authority, power, and political strategy is more effective in meeting personal, unit, and organizational goals. Yes. Okay, sige. I-discuss natin yung mga different types of your power. First one is reward power. It's obtained by the ability to grant favors or rewards either what, uh, with whatever they value. Like for example, sige, kapag tayo ay mataas yung ating audit kayong, uh, ngayong buwan na ito, magkakaroon kayo ng uh, additional 500 pesos sa nursing station. Ah, pwede niyang pangdagdag sa inyong what? Pangdagdag sa inyong excursion. Oh, diba? Ang lucky ng 500 pesos. Pero tayo mga staff nurses, we are motivated with this kind of power kasi merong reward. So ano yung epekto niya? Yung epekto niya is positive quality outcome. Nagbababa or bumaba yung ating what? Medication error, bumaba yung complaint, tumaas yung satisfactory ng ating mga pasyente. Next one. Punishment or coercive power. Ito naman based on fear of punishment if manager, a manager's expectations are not met. Like for example, yung isang supervisor hindi na meet na ay okay, kailangan wala, tayo, uh, wala tayong medication error. Pero ngayong buwan na ito, meron tayong sampung medication error. So punishment, okay, bawal. Hindi ko tatanggapin yung mga VL ninyo, yung mga request ninyo. Okay? The following month, kapag kayo ay maganda, wala tayong medication error, wala tayong complaints, ayun, tatanggapin ko yung mga VL ninyo. So, ano yung gagawin natin? Siyempre, pagbutihin natin, di ba? Papagalitan pa natin yung kasama natin. Huwag mo nang sabihin, di ba? Kasi nga, takot tayo on the punishment. That's another, that's another power. Next one is your legitimate power. It's the power gained by a title or official position with an organization. Yes, di ba kapag sinabi, oh, pag meeting yung supervisor natin, uy, pag meeting yung ating uh, chief nurse, di ba takot tayo? Kaya yung power or yung title, okay, nagbibase din tayo dun sa respect. Pero pag sinabi siya na yung mag-meeting sa atin, yung kasamahan na natin, oh, absent tayo, parang ganun. Pero kapag tayo ay merong 
uh, legitimate power, we have a position, meron tayong title, takot yan yung tao sa atin. Okay, next one. Expert power is gained through knowledge, expertise, or uh, expertise or experience. Yes, may mga tao, like for example, Hatter says, ako, hindi ako sagat. I admit, hindi ako sagat sa uh, pag-inject ng, what do you call this, ng uh, IV cannula, especially kapag yan ay pedya. Kasi ako, good ako sa adult kasi malaki yung mga ugat nila. Pero kapag pedya, ang liliit, di ba? So ano yung ginagawa natin? Tumatawag tayo ng mga ER nurses. Uy, pa-refer naman, pasuyo naman. Pwede ka bang umakyat dito? Okay, kasi ang ganda, ang galing mo kasi mag-insert, eh, no? Ang galing mong tumusok, pwede mo bang tusukan yung pasyente dito? Yung parang ganun, okay, yung IV cannula, ha? Kasi expert siya doon. Okay, that's your expert power. Next one is your referent power. It's the pa uh, power that a person has be uh, has because others identify with the leader or with that leader symbolizes. Yes, yung parang nakita mo lang siya, pero feeling mo talaga leader talaga siya. Meron siyang leadership style. So parang i-refer mo siya. Okay, ito, magaling ito, leader ito, parang born with it. Next one, charismatic power. Okay, it's distinguished by some from referent power. Yung parang sabihin natin, pagkakita mo pa lang, ang gwapo niya. ba diba? ito, aminin natin, pag nakakita kayo ng isang tao, ay, ang gwapo niya, ang linis, ang, ang ganda ng postura ng katawan niya, and then kapag humahawak siya ng microphone, parang, ay, ang ganda talaga. Charismatic power. Okay? Meron siyang power na parang inutusan tayo, parang, Sige, sundin ko na lang nga. Kahit off ko na, sige, sundin ko na lang. Kasi charismatic yung kanyang power, ang kanyang leadership. Next one is your inform uh, informational power. It's obtained when people have information that others must have to accomplish their goals. Yes. Like for example, kasama ka doon sa mga quality assurance or quality uh, personnel na staff. So kayo yung may information regarding sa conflict or sa negligence na ginawa ng, ng isang nurse. So yung nurse takot sa'yo kasi you have the power, meron kang information kung ano yung nangyari doon. Okay? That's your informational power. Okay? Now, sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, yung management natin is planning, organizing, directing, and controlling. These are the four Okay, management process na kailangan natin ma-master ma on your leadership and management. Now, I encourage everyone to to attend or to enroll here on IPAS because we have a promo. Yung promo natin, ano, is 5,000 uh, 5, pesos. Enrolled na po tayo on our online academy. And promo natin yan until today. And of course, um, uh, Afterwards, yung ating remaining balance will be payable after a month. So, makakaipon pa tayo. And the, the program or the package itself is good for six months. So, kapag hindi pa tayo ready na mag-take ng exam af after two months, pwede natin ulitin yung cycle. Ang, kina uh, ang kinaganda po ng IPAS Online Academy is that we have recorded videos and synchronous discussion. Ibig sabihin, may live tayo na 8 a.m dito sa Pilipinas, and then kapag hindi ka available during that time, kapag for example, you are from the Middle East, no? we have your recorded videos na pwede natin siyang panoorin ulit, okay? Kasi recorded yan. And of course, we have your success coach. Yung success natin, uh, success coach natin is si Sir Justin, siya yung responsible yun to elevate what we feel, ano yung stress na nararamdaman natin, something na kailangan natin ng tulong, okay, from the experts, no? So, that concludes our discussion here on your leadership and management. So I encourage everyone to enroll and see you on May 4 for your orientation. Okay? So good luck. Okay? God bless. And see you on the 4th of May. Bye-bye, everyone.